anti-Semitic words or simply a misunderstanding. Conservative activists across the state are having to defend a string of emails bringing religion into the race for Texas House Speaker. KXN political reporter Josh Hinkle joins us live. And Josh, uh, this has all to do with the current House Speaker, Joe Strauss, who is the state's first Jewish speaker. The first Jewish speaker, and he's known as a moderate Republican. I just tracked down the sender of one of those emails that included this phrase, Strauss is going down in Jesus' name. He's with the Cass County Tea Party in far northeast Texas. Alan Haight says it's no secret Christian and conservative go hand in hand, but it's not about religion, and he has no problem with Strauss being Jewish. As I found out, other senders say people are just taking away the wrong message. It's political and not religious. After challenges from two much more conservative members, support for Joe Strauss is chipping away. And now emails suggesting religion should play a role in the race for speaker. One email circulating the state from Peter Morrison of the Hardin County Republican says, Joe Strauss is pro-abortion. In fact, his rabbi sits on the board of San Antonio Planned Parenthood. When we contacted Morrison, he fired back this email saying, I am supportive of Representative Chisholm and Representative Paxton for speaker because they do not share Joe Strauss' pro-abortion voting record, nor did they betray conservatives as part of their service in the Texas House? It's inappropriate to suggest that there should be some kind of religious litmus test on who should be uh, Speaker of the Texas House. Uh, that decision should be based on the members' qualifications. Referring to Representative Brian Hughes withdrawing his support for Strauss, Ray Myers of the Kaufman County Tea Party wrote, Most importantly, we finally found a Christian conservative who decided not to be pushed around by the Joe Strauss thugs. At the time that you sent out that email, did you know he was Jewish? I didn't even think about it. Didn't even think about it. That never even crossed my mind that that would screw up anybody. Oh, hey, look, we're going after Joe Strauss. For political, for on the, on the issues and for political reasons. Regardless, both Strauss challengers have denied their ties to these emails. Warren Chisholm said, I assure you that those sorts of attacks on a man's religion have absolutely no place in the race for speaker. No one working with me on my campaign for speaker has anything to do with such tactics. Those lawmakers aren't the only ones denying ties to these emails. There have been reports about some automated phone calls from a group called Pastors Council of Texas demanding a true Christian speaker. A group with a very similar name, Texas Pastor Council, is now having to defend itself. It says it still doesn't support the speaker, the speaker's non-conservative record, but it condemns any thing making this race religious. In the studio, Josh Hinkle, KXAN, Austin News.